Hi guys, today we are going to do a lift code question more zeros. So first we will go through the problem statement, then we will see the example, then how would we go about it, and then finally we will code. Um, so the problem statement is given an array nums write a function to move all zeros to the end of it while maintaining the relative order of the non-zero elements. So uh, and the note says you must do it in place without making a copy of the array. Second, minimize the total number of operations. So uh, the uh, problem is like we have a, a array of non-zero as well as the, as well as zero elements, and uh, we have to move all the zero elements to the rightmost end of the array. Keeping the relative ordering. What does relative ordering means? Like if one comes before three, so in the output array we have one before three, and three is before twelve. So in the output array we have three before twelve. So uh, since we are uh, given that it is, it has to be in place. We can think of a two-pointer approach. Basically, we are moving the elements to the rightmost end. So. Uh, we can see that if the element is non-zero, that is, it is something other than zero value. So we would swap in that case. Like swap, uh, swap, and uh, uh, swap means like you would exchange it with the leftmost position. Initially, we would start both the left and the right pointer with from zero. Let's. see how we would go about it we will take this input array input array is this we would have a left pointer and a right pointer then uh, the, uh, way, the how, way how we proceed here is is that uh, if the element is not zero uh, then what we would do is like if it is not zero uh, in case uh, here there is a five We cannot replace this five with any other element like uh, If uh, here it's zero then we can replace this position because all the zeros have to move to the end But here five cannot be replaced because the relative ordering has to be kept same So if the element is non-zero we would swap the uh, nums of left with nums of right and we would increment the left pointer because as I told you ki um, 5 wali position pe there can be no other element because ab hamari po is file agar hum left idhari rakhe rakhenge to 1 ha will be swapped to 5 then to hamari relative order kharaab ho jayegi so hum left ko increment kar denge is position pe then hum kya karenge ab hum right hamesha right mein hamesha increment karte rahenge no matter what to hamara jab jaise right will come on one left would be on one so we encounter a zero element so hum idhar left pointer ko rakhe rakhenge jo ki jo no, next non zero element hai jo ki one hai that can be moved to zeros position okay so here we will see the code We will take a left pointer and a right pointer. Then the size of the array is nums dot size, while right is left is less than n. What we would do is check if the value at right pointer is not equal to zero. Then what we would do is nums of swap nums of left plus plus comma nums of right okay and we would always increment the right pointer since the return type of the function is void so we are not returning nothing from the function uh, we'll go uh, dry run this example 5 0 1 0 0 3 1 3 okay so uh, initially the left pointer is at 0 the right pointer is at 0 so we encounter a non-zero element that is 5. So we basically swap uh, swap 
array of left plus plus and array of right plus plus this is denoted by array a okay right is always incremented so here what we would do is uh, 5 is swapped with 5 there is nothing so left would become 1 and right would also become 1 now uh, now we encounter a zero element so we are not swapping we keep the left pointer at 1 itself so after this left pointer would remain at 1 and the right pointer becomes 2 so we again encounter a non-zero element okay so we swap the values array of right we swap the values so the array now becomes 5 1 0 0 0 3 and 13 now the left pointer is at position 2 and the right pointer now moves to position 3 that is 0 okay and then we again uh, check for this uh, value that is 4 left position a pointer is at 2 and the right position is at 3 then we encounter a non-zero element we increment uh, r by 1 so here the right pointer is at 4 now and the left pointer remains to be at 2 uh, then we again see that uh, we encounter a zero value so r is incremented the left pointer remains at 2 then we see array of 6 is uh, 3 which is a non-zero element so we swap array of left plus plus with array of right okay so now the array becomes 5130013 okay and now we are at position 13 uh, value 13 so we again swap the value at uh, the left pointer now becomes 3 left is now at 3 so we swap 13 with uh, value 0 here so the final array becomes 5131300 and we see that all the zeros are moved to the right side now uh, let's test our code Oh, we should comment this out sorry so it gives us the correct answer so the solution is accepted hope you understood this this is an order of n approach because we are just traversing the array once and uh, happy coding Thank you guys for watching the video. Bye.